Now on 4 News Now at 6, several schools in the inland northwest locked down over fake threats. Why some parents are frustrated over one district's response. Our warming trend is just getting started. I'll let you know how high the temperatures are going to climb by the weekend in your first alert forecast. Dozens of families in one Cheney neighborhood are worried they'll be forced out of their homes. We spoke to the property owner to see if he plans on evicting them anytime soon. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. Several schools in eastern Washington locked down over fake threats. Parents and teens desperately searching for answers as students waited it out in classrooms. Swatting calls went out across the country today. That includes four schools in our area. Pullman, Davenport, Central Valley, and Othello all received threats this morning. 4 News Now's Natalie Grant explains the response from law enforcement. Crime check with you reporting. This 911 call is from December, when another Spokane area school was the target of a false shooting call. Swatting calls like this are becoming more common, and on Thursday, several schools from Pullman to Central Valley became the latest targets. It's just something that we have to take very seriously. At Central Valley High School, they went into lockdown just before 10 a.m., and officers arrived minutes later. They went through the building and determined that it was a hoax call, mm -hmm. and they cleared the building, and um, at approximately 10:15 a.m. we were out of lockdown. It is a drill that we do um, consistently with not all not just our high schools but all of our schools um, to make sure that we are ready for these situations. Yeah, every parent's nightmare. But outside the school, parents like Mandy Bunch were holding their breath while they waited for an update. Bunch was texting her freshman daughter at the time, telling her to keep calm even while she herself was in a state of panic. For that amount of time, you know, we don't know, is my child safe? Was it a hoax? Like, I, I, it, was, it was very unnerving, like, just... I saw I saw it myself because I'm I didn't know what was going on. Bunch said she found out the news of the lockdown from her daughter and posts on social media. Her and other parents saying they would like more communication from the district so they don't imagine the worst. It's always scary, I think, to send your kids to school after you've heard of a another school shooting, another school shooting, another school shooting. And I think in the back of every parent's mind, we're thinking, when is it going to be my school? Like, will it be my kid's school? And that was 4 News Now's Natalie Grant reporting. Just to reiterate, there was no real threat to any schools in our area today. Everyone is safe. We did reach out to Central Valley for a response to some of the concerns that parents had about notifications. And they said safety is their first priority. And while they understand students have cell phones and will most likely to reach out to their parents, the district wants to make sure that they are focusing on law enforcement response before sending out a message to parents. But they do try to do it as soon as possible. New at 6 o'clock. The man who shot and killed the suspected car thief in Coeur d'Alene will not face any charges. Because of that, we're not going to name him. It happened last month in a Michaels parking lot. Investigators say the man shot 30-year-old Shane Brown when Brown hit him with a car. The Kootenai County Prosecutor's Office says the man acted lawfully and did not commit a crime. Check out the Spokane River in downtown. Repairs on the South Suspension Bridge and Riverfront Park are underway. We've been told crews end up getting soaked every time they try to get any work done. Ooh, it's the splash zone of sorts. <laughs> they might appreciate it in a few days. Temperatures are going up. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker with your first alert forecast. Yes, they are beautiful weather to be enjoying the falls. We do this evening have a few isolated areas where we're seeing some showers up along the North Division Y, just south of Deer Park. Some showers in progress. We've had a little bit of thunderstorm activity around Kellogg, also down around Cheney. Some heavier rain, a broader view over the past several hours. We have had a few isolated lightning strikes, but no real intense areas of thunderstorm activity. These storms have produced some small hail and gusty winds, brief heavy downpours, but they don't last very long and they are not on the move. They're just popping up in the instability of the afternoon. 
afternoon and it will be a quieter day tomorrow. Forecast radar shows the last of those showers and thunderstorms coming to an end very soon. 9 p.m. We are dry across the region and we are going to be staying dry overnight with clear skies and a sunny start to the day on Thursday. Your planner for this evening, if you're heading out for a dog walk or a jog, you should stay dry in Spokane. Keep an eye on your first alert weather app uh, in some of the outlying areas, particularly if you're in the Cheney area or Deer Park. There's still a possibility of a shower or two this evening. I'll be back with that warming trend in the forecast, let you know what to expect for Mother's Day weekend in just a few minutes, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. The battle to save a North Cheney mobile home park continues tonight. And for the first time we're hearing from the property owner, he tells us he has no plans to shut down the park. Just last night, the city council rezoned the area and how people who live in there in the West Central Cheney area are still worried. Peter Choi spoke to the property owner to find out what's really happening. I'm here in North Cheney Mobile Home Park, where many people tell me they're disappointed with the city council's decision on Tuesday. Now, because of uncertain time frame of the redevelopment plan, they're still worried about what will happen to their homes and family. Living in a trailer at the park, David Watson is on a fixed income. He's more worried about other neighbors who can't afford to move their homes on short notice because some of the mobile homes are too old to be relocated. Well, that fifth wheel belongs to me and I can pull it out of here. I've got the truck to pull it out if I have to. Yeah. And, if it, and if they close the park down, it'd be just a short time before I could, I could do something. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people that can't do that. The property owner, Todd Harper, says he welcomes approval for the redevelopment plan. However, he says this is the first step in the long process. As of now, are you planning to close down the park? As we speak now, we do not have a plan to close down the park in the, in the near term because we don't have a plan for what the development plan would be. In fact, I worked hard to make sure there was no question we are keeping this park in place. Washington Governor Jay Inslee recently signed a bill that would give more time for mobile home residents for relocation assistance. Douglas Brunel, who lives in this park, says he's hopeful. If the owner does close the park, um, they will have uh, more time to at least try to find something to do. Because of financial challenges, Tarber says he doesn't know how long it will take to complete the project, hoping to start phase one in 2025. In Cheney, Peter Choi, for News Now. Well, birth control pills are one step closer to becoming available over the counter. FDA advisors voted in support of allowing people to buy the drug named O-Pill without a prescription, agreeing that people would be able to use it safely and effectively without help from a health care worker. The pressure to make birth control pills available over the counter, as they are in more than 100 countries, has been building since Roe versus Wade was overturned. They can access contraception more easily and, and be able to make those decisions that they want to make about their health and their families. The FDA does not have to follow the advisor's recommendation, but it usually does. It's expected to make a decision this summer. Around the Northwest, these may look like harmless enough. Little keys, they're a single key attached to a plastic keychain, but each of them unlocks an uncomfortable encounter for one woman in Olympia. Goes, I have your key and I want my $500. For over two months now, people have come to Emily Bergkamp's front door. For good reason, they think they all found a key saying $500 reward if found with Bergkamp's name and address. But there's one issue, the keys don't belong to her. It's harassment. It's meant to intimidate our family by sending strangers to our house who think they're going to get money. That's it's pretty, pretty rough stuff. So many people showed up, the bird camps put up a sign informing people of the scam and to leave the keys as evidence. Most leave the keys and move on, but some pounded on the door yelling for her to come out. In total, more than 40 keys have been found around the city. Whatever the motive, bird camp hopes it ends soon. Scammers in suits knocking at your door, claiming you owe money to the government. This is a new tactic that uses fear to steal your money, and the Spokane County Sheriff's Office warns, don't fall for it. They're preying on the ones that aren't watching the news, that aren't on social media. 
This latest scam happened to a homeowner in North Spokane, and the criminals are still out there. We'll give you three easy steps to protect your money from scammers trying to intimidate their victims in my special report tomorrow on 4 News Now at 6. Still ahead, tourists spent more than a billion dollars in Spokane last year. See if that money helped businesses bounce back from the pandemic. Coming up next on 4 News Now at 6. Four news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 26 years strong. Parenting can be hard under the best of circumstances. Vanessa Behan is on a mission to surround children with a safe, healthy community. Any family can find themselves in need of a supportive place during a stressful time. We are here for them in that moment and beyond. Numerica Credit Union is honored to partner with organizations like Vanessa Behan as they work to enhance lives, fulfill dreams, and build communities. Check out more organizations that make our community stronger at NumericaCU.com. Luxurious Karistan carpets are just the footing you need to live beautifully. And now, during National Karistan Month, you can save beautifully. Use your exclusive rebate to receive up to $1,000 back on select styles of Karistan carpets and the flawless craftsmanship of Luxcraft hard surface flooring. Live beautifully. Save beautifully with Karistan at Panhandle Carpet One Floor and Home. Save up to $1,000 on Karistan flooring at Panhandle Carpet One. There are a lot of ways to deal with a stubborn drain. Call us at Mainstream Plumbing. Our high-definition LED camera can go where no plumber has gone before. Deep inside your sewer lines to find the root of the problem. Call 866-411-ZAP. This is how legends are... 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbo Max pickups. Plus, get a $2,500 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Spokane's hottest music. Break me from so done with you, Hot 96.9. Of course I know the theme song. Entertainment Tonight. That's what people want. It's hard to think of Entertainment Tonight without... Oh, I know it! I mean, come on. Since I was a little kid. Entertainment Tonight. This is the Bible of show business. Bye. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Visit Spokane says tourists spent $1.4 billion last year in the Lilac City, up from the previous year. That money helps create jobs and includes taxes, which pay for essential services like education, public safety, and a lot more. It's National Tourism Week, and the industry plays a vital role in our city. As the city emerges from three years of the COVID pandemic, travel will continue to boost the economy. Our Vanessa Perez is in downtown Spokane tonight, where business has suffered through the pandemic shutdown. Well, yeah, businesses were forced to shut down for several months. Definitely a difficult time for many that brought uncertainty. But fast forward to today and business owners say they're better off. From baby stuff to hair accessories, you'll find it at Kaziri. Owner Jillian Joseph remembers how excited people were at the start of the pandemic to support small businesses. Definitely do still see that. People people love coming into the shop and um, being able to see things and touch things and um, hear the stories about the products that we have here. Uh, but yeah, would love to see some more energy around supporting local businesses and shopping small. Just a few doors down at Hatch Coffee, the espresso is flowing. The pandemic closed a shop down five days after it opened its doors. It's been great. Uh, yeah, just really slow and steady growth. Um, we're the only coffee shop on the block right as of now with boots moving into our building. Uh, so kind of like gives us more opportunity. Howard's noticed more conventions in town and people coming into Spokane on a week by week basis. People are flowing into the coffee shop, especially on the weekends. 
having more conventions is definitely good for us and good for the rest of small business in Spokane. But both businesses have their regulars. Tourists are just an extra boost. We have a strong support system from the local community. Um, and so uh, tourist spenders are kind of like a nice to have for us. Um, but it's always great to welcome people into the area, you know, tell them other local businesses to visit. Tourism plays an essential role in our city. People need to know why tourism is so important and coming out of the pandemic we are stronger than ever um, but it does it strengthens the economy it uh, grows jobs it develops infrastructure and it provides cultural exchange between visitors and our own citizens as small businesses continue to welcome in customers giving a boost to the local economy and tourists also contributed to $219 million in local and state taxes. Those go to vital services like public safety, education, and emergency response, and much more. Live in downtown, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Right now, city planners and tour tourism organizations are making plans to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Expo 74 next year. Organizers released this video showing how the expo led to the creation of what is now Riverfront Park. It led to the creation of the original gondola and the pedestrian bridges across the Spokane River. The event ran for six months back in 1974 and brought in an estimated $150 million and welcomed more than 5 million guests. Next year's celebration will run from May 4th to July 4th. Wow, I love those old pictures. They are amazing. So is the sky tonight. I do not know when I have seen a more beautiful view from our sky cam here. Gorgeous evening in progress with temperatures in the 60s. We still have a few showers around the region. I'll show you where they are now and tell you about the warm up in the forecast after the break. Download the 4 News Now app today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. When it's time to protect your home, call Everhart Painting, Spokane's premier painting contractor. Everhart Painting takes care of every detail and backs the results with their industry-leading warranty. Call today and receive their spring special for $500 off. Everhart Painting, your exterior repaint specialist. Your life revolves around your home, family, and backyard. It's your world. Shape your world with The Plant Farm. They'll help you select the healthiest plants, flowers, shrubs, and trees for your backyard. Enhance your patios and front entrance with the stunning Plant Farm signature hanging baskets. And shape your world indoors with the largest selection of unique specialty house plants. Shape your world with The Plant Farm because life is better in the garden. Are you building a new fence? Or maybe repairing that old fence you've been looking at? Or perhaps you just need a new gate for the backyard? Well, Northwest Fence can help. At Northwest Fence, we have all the parts, pieces, latches, and gates for your chain link, wood, vinyl, or iron fencing needs. So whether you need posts or latches or even stock gates, stop by our friendly showroom and we can help you out. And remember, nobody builds them better than Northwest Fence. Welcome to Coeur d'Alene Honda, home of the lifetime warranty. Well, hi. Hey, I'm looking for a new Honda, but I heard some dealers are charging outrageous prices. At Coeur d'Alene Honda, we simply don't do that. We ain't no big city slickers with second stickers. <laughs> it's business as usual. We are a family-owned dealership, and our reputation is far more valuable than overcharging our customers. We want to be here for you today, tomorrow, and in the future. And don't forget about our lifetime warranty. Check out our website at cdahonda.com. It's almost Mother's Day. And Friday, that can only mean it's time for... Breakfast in bed! Oh my goodness! Breakfast in bed extravaganza. Oh my goodness! Yes, one mother is about to get the surprise of a lifetime with breakfast in bed. Friday on GMA. Do you have concrete floors that look like this? Let Everhart Painting Floor Coating Specialists transform your floors with their multi-step coating system. The finished product is spectacular. Call Everhart Painting today and receive their spring special for $500 off. Everhart Painting, your painter for life. I wasn't going to start off with this live camera, but it was so pretty, I just had to. We are looking southwest over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. You can see some showers off in the distance and a little bit of verga precipitation evaporating before it reaches the ground. All of these clouds will deflate as we get into the evening. 
the sun sets, we lose our daytime heating and we'll be clearing out. Here's a look at our Doppler radar. We're zoomed in and boy, they are just widely scattered showers in progress uh, right now. We've had a little bit of activity up by the North Division Y actually sinking south near Mount Spokane Road and the Newport Highway. Also, as we head south of Cheney, uh, some rain along I-90 as well. And around Rockford Bay, a stronger area of precipitation with some small hail. Also, a little bit of gusty wind. These storms are very short-lived. Here's a look at some of our highway cameras. I had to look through a lot to find any with any rain on them, but uh, we have had some showers around the Newport area with some wet roads there. And as we look toward me, the roads are wet as we head further to the north, but dry closer to the camera. Your forecast for tonight, 45 degrees for an overnight low with mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, a high of 73, sunny and warm. Beautiful, beautiful day, thanks to a building ridge of high pressure. Wouldn't a rule out an isolated mountain shower tomorrow, but the odds are against it. And by Friday, we are firmly under this building ridge of high pressure that is going to be in our forecast for the next several days and perhaps uh, even into the week after next. Uh, once these ridges set up shop, they tend to be very difficult to break down and that looks like what our forecast is calling for. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 40s. This will be one of the cooler mornings that we have for the foreseeable future. Highs tomorrow, about five to 10 degrees above average, 73 in Spokane, 78 in Grand Coulee and Moses Lake, getting awfully close to 80 in Lewiston. We'll see a lot of 80s on the map in the forecast. We're heading up to 79 on Friday. And my word, we have had some good weekend luck. Lately, we'll be in the mid 80s Saturday and Mother's Day Sunday. Like the timing on that. Ooh, and Saturday, the Junior Lilac Parade, which I am emceeing for the 20 something odd year. So that's always a fun one for our middle school students on Saturday morning in downtown. 86 on Monday, and we stay in the 80s through the middle of next week. And our long range forecast, 8 to 14 days, is calling for more of the same. Overnight lows in the 50s and even the 60s once we get into Friday. Stay tuned. Coming up in the next half hour in the forecast focus, I have some spectacular Wildlife Wednesday photos to share with you. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Republican Congressman George Santos has pleaded not guilty to more than a dozen charges, including fraud and money laundering. And now pressure is on for him to resign. ABC's Rena Roy has more. Republican Congressman George Santos could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted on federal criminal charges. In a 13-count indictment, prosecutors accusing Santos of engaging in a scheme to defraud his campaign donors, alleging he used thousands of dollars in campaign funds on personal expenses, including luxury designer clothing and credit card payments. Santos facing a judge in a Long Island, New York courtroom on charges of wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and making false statements to fellow members of the House. Santos has lied about everything from his resume to family background. Santos pleading not guilty, speaking out after his arraignment. I'm going to fight my battle. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to fight the witch hunt. I'm going to take care of clearing my name and I look forward to doing that. I will not resign. If convicted, Santos could still serve in Congress, though pressure is growing for him to resign. I think he should just do the right thing and put this district out of its misery and move on. At least a dozen House Republicans calling for him to step down or be expelled. Frankly, I would have hoped along the way that Mr. Santos would have done what I believe was the right thing and uh, not you know, force leadership to force his action, but for him to do it on his own. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy expressing concern, but not calling for resignation. We go through his time of trial, we'll find out how the outcome is. Santos is facing multiple investigations from at least five different authorities, including the FBI, which is looking into his alleged role into a fake charity scheme. Rena Roy, ABC News, Central Islip, New York. Title 42 is ending in less than 48 hours. How agents are preparing for a surge of migrants seeking asylum at the border. Coming up next. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Two for seven bucks every day. 
has it beef and cheddar hot. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Is your dog pulling you on walks, behaving poorly, or not listening to your commands? Unleashed Academy will resolve your dog's aggression, leash pulling, and reactivity. Our trained behaviorists will teach you and your dog to have a relaxed relationship you can be proud of. Call today. McVay Brothers is the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. We also have great financing options like no money down and up to 12 years low interest financing. At McVay Brothers, we're always working for you. Are you filming? Yep. That's a good one. You kind of have to be able to see my feet. I'll post it. Try rolling your wrist, dude. And I'll put my weight on the back, especially on my outside foot. Balance is key. So is stick work. Mom, I'll be out front. You should switch to sledding. They should switch to being helpful. No blocking. Good idea. Keep your eyes up, man. It's the Great Northwest RV Show, this Wednesday through Sunday, only at Blue Dog RV Post Paul. Same day, with special show pricing on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. All of your favorite brands under one roof. Tiffin, Newmar, Rockwood, Grand Design, and more. Hundreds of new and used RVs to choose from. Get ready for spring adventures now. Don't miss the Great Northwest RV Show, Wednesday through Sunday, at Blue Dog RV Post Paul's. Arby's, two for seven bucks. Every day, a classic, a favorite, an Arby's legend. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Four News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. Around the nation tonight, in just over 24 hours, Title 42, a Trump-era border restriction policy, is set to expire, which could increase the number of migrants trying to cross into the U.S. and intensify an already challenging humanitarian crisis. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez tells us how officials are preparing. The crisis at the border is ramping up as the end of Title 42, a pandemic-era policy, approaches. The Biden administration is now taking unprecedented measures to manage the border. We are making it very clear that our border is not open, that crossing irregularly is against the law. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says if migrants cross the border illegally, it will mean tougher consequences. Unlike under Title 42, an individual who is removed under Title VIII is subject to at least a five-year bar on re-entry into the United States and can face criminal prosecution if they attempt to cross again. The administration also says smugglers have been hard at work spreading misinformation to migrants that the border is open. It will not be. They are lying. To people who are thinking of making the journey to our southern border, know this. The smugglers care only about profit. Hundreds of U.S. troops are also set to begin a range of missions along the southern border, but will not be interacting directly with migrants. They'll be providing additional ground detection and monitoring capability, warehouse support, data entry. Um, again, they'll be there in support of Customs and Border Patrol. Uh, they will not be conducting any type of law enforcement activities. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. We have much more coming up tonight at 6.30. Including why some health experts say women should start getting mammograms starting at age 40 plus. As the school year comes to a close, the University of Idaho is gearing up to celebrate its graduates, including the four U of I students that were killed. I'll explain how coming up. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath. 
from start to stunning. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $750 off your tub or shower replacement. Chicago. Celebrating 25 years of Broadway razzle-dazzle. The Associated Press calls Chicago the most entertaining musical of the decade. Paint the town again with Chicago the Musical. May 13th and 14th at First Interstate Center for the Arts. Visit broadwayspokane.com. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbo Max pickups. Plus, get a $2,500 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. My name is Steven, and this is my Summit Cancer Center story. I had a large tumor in my left lung in November of 2018. We went through in 2020 doing a lot of end-of-life planning. Summit was very aggressive in my treatment of diagnosis. Since then, with my recovery, we're doing a lot of life events. I love the people there. I would recommend Summit Cancer Center. My wife calls it a miracle. It's time for a new shower, but you don't want the hassle. You just want it done. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $750 off your tub or shower replacement. Trump Town Hall Controversy, next in Sun Edition. Make America great again. Trump's return to CNN. Smart move or blunder? And could the verdict in the rape civil trial change the presidential race? Then, America's top dog, behind the scenes at the Westminster Dog Show. Who will be crowned America's top dog? The best in show winner is next in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. This weekend, more than 2,000 University of Idaho students will walk the stage and receive their degrees. And they will also be posthumously honoring five students, one for each of the four students murdered in their off-campus home last November, as well as for one student who was killed in a car crash. Tonight at 6.30, our Bronte Sorotsky shares how the university will honor the lives lost. As the school year comes to a close, thousands of vandals are getting ready to celebrate a new chapter of their lives. But for the four U of I students whose lives were cut too short, the university says it still has plans in place to honor their hard work. Ethan Chapin, Zana Kernodal, Kaylee Consalves, Maddie Mogan, as well as Guadalupe Ruiz, who was killed in a car wreck in August, will all receive degrees for their dedication as U of I students great way to be able to honor the work that the students had done and be able to celebrate that work with their parents. Because Mogan and Gonsalves are receiving their degrees, their families will be present to accept them on their behalves. Chapin and Kernodal certificates will be given at another time at the family's request. Students had put in a lot of time and effort and we want to make sure that those families know that that is appreciated and that the students as well as these families are very much a part of our Vandal family and we want them to be a part of that. The university is ensuring these lost vandals are never forgotten. A vandal healing garden and memorial is in the works that will include a permanent memorial for the four students and offer a garden space for quiet reflection to remember any other vandals. We all shared an experience um, and, and we certainly won't forget that. We've learned and grown from it, uh, but, but the healing process continues. Now U of I's graduation will take place this Saturday. Reporting in Moscow, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. Live look over the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. We can see some showers well into the distance, uh, but we are dry in downtown and we'll be staying dry. Here's a look at our satellite and radar at the showers and isolated thunderstorms in the central panhandle. We've also had a few lightning strikes along I-90 just to the east of Moses Lake. These thunderstorms are tapering off. We'll be drying out very shortly. Zooming in 
Spokane on the Spokane area. As we head to the southwest of Cheney, we have some heavier rain along 905. Also, Spokane Valley heading south there along 27. Some heavier rain, but we are dry right in Spokane. And again, should be staying dry. Here's our forecast radar and here in the next hour, we will see that precipitation slowly tapering off. Here's 9 p.m. By midnight, we are dry and clear across the region, and we will be staying clear for a beautiful Thursday. High temperature of 73 degrees, 66 is our average high, and uh, we'll be dry and staying dry for the next several days. I'll be back with your seven-day forecast, plus some Wildlife Wednesday photos in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Let's take a live look over construction of the new stadium in downtown Spokane. Tonight, the school board will vote on an official name. The council was supposed to vote on a name last month, but none of the options were accepted. One reason being the names did not follow the criteria assigned by the school board. We'll have the results of tonight's vote on Nightside. After a months long investigation, Bonner County Sheriff's deputies arrested a 52 year old Priest River woman for selling fentanyl pills. Here's what they caught her with more than 200 pills, a gun and more than $500 cash. The woman is being charged with possession of controlled substance with intent to deliver. Washington's Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, announced she is running for governor. She released this video saying the state is facing urgent issues from climate change to a housing crisis, and she's running for governor to make bold progress and solve these issues. She will face fellow Democrat Attorney General Bob Ferguson, who announced his bid last week. A new at 630 state employees will no longer be required to get vaccinated against COVID-19 in Washington starting tomorrow. Governor Jay Inslee lifted the mandate the same day as the federal public health emergency ends. While the local and federal emergency has come to an end, health officials still encourage people to stay home when they're sick and to wear a mask if exposed to COVID-19. This morning, a Spokane police officer shot a man, shot at a man rather, in the hospital district. Spokane police say this happened around 4 a.m. when officers responded to a call about a man with a gun in a parking lot near 5th and Brown. When officers found him, he took off and tried to get into a car with another man. The suspect fought with the driver, then ran off. One officer chased the suspect, and when the man turned around, he fired a single shot at him. The suspect then surrendered to law enforcement and was taken into custody. And nobody fortunately was injured in this incident. Spokane police say what appeared to be a firearm was found near where the man surrendered. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation on the shooting. On Tuesday, voters in Coeur d'Alene will decide if hundreds of teachers and support staff will return to school next year. Voters will decide whether to approve the public school district's $25 million supplemental levy. The district originally tried to pass a forever levy back in March. It failed. The new levy would need to be approved every two years. If it fails again, the district will have to close two schools. The ones on the chopping block are Ramsey, Dalton, Bora, and Bryant elementaries. Head over to KXLY.com where we have a form to submit your questions or concerns about this upcoming levy. Well, it's the second most common cancer among women in the U.S., but early detection of breast cancer can save lives. And now a new proposal would have women getting mammograms at a younger age. CNN's Mandy Gaither has more on the recommendation and why some feel it's just a first step in protecting women's health. To reduce risk of dying from breast cancer, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force has proposed that all women at average risk of the disease should be screened every other year starting at age 40. They recognized that there's an increased incidence of breast cancer in this age group for women in their 40s, um, but the, also that screening is very effective. A group of independent medical experts makes up the task force and helps guide doctors' decisions and influences insurance plans. This latest proposal would update their 2016 guidance, which said women should get mammograms every other year starting at age 50, but that the decision for a woman to screen in her 40s was an individual one. Definitely, it's a move in the right direction, but it's not exactly right. Dr. Sarah Friedewald, Chief of Breast Imaging at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, says screening every year, not every two years, as this new proposal recommends, would save the most lives. If you increase that interval between screening, you just allow the cancers to grow to a potentially larger phase, and it, 
potentially could be less treatable. The draft recommendation comes a few weeks after a study in the journal JAMA Network Open found that the rate of breast cancer deaths among women in their 40s was 27 per 100,000 people for black women compared with 15 deaths per 100,000 in white women. The updates would not apply to those at an increased risk of breast cancer who may already have been encouraged to screen at 40 or earlier. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Coming up in sports, why history is on the Kraken side for tomorrow's Game 5 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Download the 4 News Now app today. Chewila Casino is now Mystiqua Casino Hotel. No matter where you are in your financial journey, we are here to help you along the way. Open a free Ascend checking account and you can earn 3.50% APY on balances up to $15,000 with no minimum balance required. Bring your finances to new heights with our checking that pays you dividends. Get your account today at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Summer is here and with a new Toyota, you can do all your favorite beach activities like spike ball. Whitewater rafting, shrimp boils, wade fishing, or hanging with the locals. You can say that again. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at Toyota.com. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. For 50 years, Anthony's has been serving up the most unforgettable dining experience. We take our seafood seriously. Our own seafood company delivers only the best catch straight to our kitchens. Every dish is prepared with local ingredients and paired with our spectacular waterfront views. Savor the essence of the Northwest with Anthony's three-course sunset dinners, available for only $30 weekdays until 5.30. Reserve at anthonys.com. Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in Liberty Lake or call Keith at 509-499-2601. I'm a little over my head here. We can certainly take care of that for you. When you're looking for a company that's noteworthy, look no further than Mainstream Electric. Tonight, six all-time greats. What is grit? Who's Caro? What is Mean Girls? One incredible tournament. Who will be crowned the first ever Jeopardy Masters champion? Bring it. Bring it. Don't bring it. <laughs> Jeopardy Masters continues tonight on ABC. Here's what people are clicking on the most at KXLY.com. $120. That's how much some parents will receive for each of their kids enrolled in public schools. No matter how much you make, that money will come in the form of an EBT card you'll get in the mail over summer break. If you have no need for the funds, you can decline the benefits, but those funds cannot be gifted or donated. If you want to know more information about the program, look for this story on KXLY.com. It is Wildlife Wednesday, and my goodness, I don't know when I have had so many submissions. There are dozens and dozens because all the wildlife are out, they're back, they're awake. And uh, here's a sure sign of spring from Mark Boat and the Idaho State Bird. As an Idaho native, born and raised, we studied the mountain bluebird, and uh, it could not be more blue. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful bird. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark, for sharing this. Uh, Elena Nelson spotted this elk and some friends along with him uh, in her Coeur d'Alene backyard. You can see the beginnings of what may be an impressive rack. Right now doesn't look like much, uh, but so gorgeous. And I love the dark green uh, behind this elk. It is definitely greening up. Courtney Litwin captured this image of one of my favorite birds, a violet green swallow. They're so pretty and difficult to photograph, Courtney says. They do zzz 
zip around quite a bit. And uh, she managed to capture this one perfectly, though. Thank you so much, Courtney. And I just can't resist babies. Marty Beal shared this photo from Medical Lake just today of a Canada Goose family out enjoying the sunshine and the bright blue water. Fabulous photo, Marty. Thank you so much. Well, speaking of the Medical Lake area, actually we're more in the Williams Lake fish trap area uh, with this area of thunderstorms that's picked up in intensity just a little bit. It is south of I-90 and sinking very slowly to the south. These storms aren't moving much. They're just popping up in the instability of the day. Here in the next hour or so, they will be uh, decreasing, but this is the most intense one right now. One cloud to ground lightning strike is all I've picked up, but you'll hear some rumbles of thunder and I'm sure from Cheney, you can see some very dark skies off to the south and west. We are not gonna be dealing with thunderstorms much longer because very stable air taking over our atmosphere as we get into, well, actually starting tomorrow, but by this weekend, a highly amplified ridge of high pressure and the very warm weather that is going to come along with it. Here's our temperature trend over the next seven days. White line right here is our average high, which is in the mid 60s through the seven day forecast. We'll be up in the 80s, mid 80s, uh, and warmest weather of the season. The extended forecast, eight to 14 days, calling for above average temperatures throughout the Western United States in the extended outlook. A lot of sunshine to go along with those warm temperatures. We will be with day after day of dry conditions, overnight lows well above freezing. I think we're safe to plant. Uh, Mother's Day Sunday looks just gorgeous, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. The North Spokane Corridor is still in the early stages of being built. The Washington State Department of Transportation needs help deciding on the final piece of the project connecting the corridor to I-90. One of the design options removes the Altamont Street on-ramp to I-90. The other would include an Altamont Street on-ramp. Both designs vary slightly and there is a trade-off and that's why the DOT wants the community to decide. We have a link to a survey where you can share your opinion on the design on KXLY. Com. The White House, Democrats and Republicans in Congress appear no closer to striking a deal on the debt limit. Despite no signs of progress, follow-up talks are scheduled for this Friday. ABC's Justin Finch with the latest. Clear rifts over the debt ceiling remain following President Biden's Gang of Four meeting with the top leaders in the House and Senate. Today, Biden traveled to a Republican congressional district in New York to blame MAGA Republicans for the inability to reach a deal on raising the debt limit and how it would impact Americans. They're literally not figuring, holding the economy hostage. During Tuesday's Oval Office meeting, the President and Senate leader Chuck Schumer accused House Speaker Kevin McCarthy of being the lone holder doubt refusing to commit to raising the debt limit. Speaker McCarthy must commit to taking default off the table. The Treasury Secretary and other financial leaders urgently warning that time is running out. I was very clear with the president. We have now just two weeks to go. While Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell publicly said the U.S. will not default, he also told Biden to not attempt to go around Congress and use the 14th Amendment to raise the debt ceiling. Just one way to prevent a pointless avoidable crisis. The bipartisan negotiation that Speaker McCarthy's been calling for. McCarthy and congressional Republicans want spending cuts before approving a debt limit hike. The White House wants no preconditions. A debt ceiling increase would allow the U.S. government to pay for expenses it already owes. The nation could hit default as early as June 1st, which experts say could result in a global economic catastrophe. The gross national product might contract over the following 12 months, as much as 6 or 7%, that millions of jobs would be lost. And there was some good economic news, as a new report found U.S. inflation was less than expected. But economists caution a debt limit default would ruin the nation's efforts to stem inflation, and the president plans to meet with those same congressional leaders on Friday. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. It's Jeopardy Masters at 8, followed by Celebrity Wheel of Fortune at 9, then is the season premiere of The Game Show at 10.
Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. just a place. It's a state of mind. At Idaho Central Credit Union, we're proud to call our communities home. And we're here with personalized home loans to help make your home dreams come true. Idaho Central Credit Union. We believe home is where you make it. What's inside Huckleberries? Gluten-free. Eco-friendly. Free-range. Plant-based. Sugar-free. Hormone-free. High-protein. Dairy-free. Locally sourced. Nitrate-free. Non-GMO. Grain-free. Low-carb. Carbon-neutral. And many more. A carefully curated natural market for the health-minded, diet-conscious, earth-friendly, and everyone in between. Look for the Huckleberries Purple at your local neighborhood Rosars. For over 65 years, McVeigh Brothers has been on the cutting edge of the newest technologically advanced products sold. We're now offering triple pane windows, custom colored windows of your choice, and amazing mini blinds between the glass that will last a lifetime. Get the tax break you deserve at Walker's Furniture as they offer a double sales tax discount or no minimum purchase, no money down. Five years financing with 60 equal payments. Freshen up your living room or dine in style this week at Walker's. It's the Great Northwest RV Show, this Wednesday through Sunday, only at Blue Dog RV Post Paul. Save big with special show pricing on motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and more. All of your favorite brands under one roof. Tiffin, Newmar, Rockwood, Grand Design, and more. Hundreds of new and used RVs to choose from. Get ready for spring adventures now. Don't miss the Great Northwest RV Show, Wednesday through Sunday at Blue Dog RV Post Paul's. The Tire Store for auto repairs, tires, and wheels. At the Tire Store, they'll let you split up your repair bill over a couple months. Get your car fixed today. ASC certified, and you can start an account with no credit check. Tire Store. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Sweet Palace and Sapphire Jewelry in Phillipsburg, Montana. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to sports. I'm Julian Minenso. Now, you know that friend you could always count on. They'll always be there in times of need. That's the Seattle Mariners pitching. Seattle has the fourth best pitching staff in all of baseball. Now, you know that friend who always flakes on you? They're unreliable. That's been the Seattle Mariners hitting. They were the third worst lineup in the league. Now, even with the rocky start, Seattle had a chance to win a series against the top team in the AL West, the Texas Rangers. Mariners ace Luis Castillo on the mound for Seattle in this one. Marcus Simeon, though, for the Rangers, takes this one out of the park. The Rangers tie the game at one here. But Castillo had a rough start, but settled down nicely. He only gave up three runs in his first five innings of work, which is considered a quality start by baseball standards. To the fifth we go. Mariners trailing three to one. J.P. Crawford, he delivers. Nice to see the lineup in order. Crawford gets a double out of this one. Seattle cuts the deficit to three to two as he slides into second base, liking that. Now, very next inning, it's the Rangers' turn at the plate and this time it's Marcus Simeon once again this time Simeon pokes one into left field that makes it a four to two ball game in favor of Texas now to the ninth inning we go Mariners trailing four to three Seattle's offense needs to come through the Mariners can tie the game with one swing but they go down one two three in the ninth Seattle's pitching stood their ground but the offense well they just came up short in this game kind of been the story of the season for the Mariners thus far Seattle falls four to three the Mariners will hit the road for a weekend series as they look to bounce back against the Detroit Tigers starting on Friday. And the Seattle Kraken are still trying to forget about last night's loss to the Dallas Stars. The Stars scored four goals in the second period and even the series at two heading back to Dallas. Seattle isn't panicking just yet. They've been in this situation before. Seattle's first round series against the Colorado Avalanche was also tied at two and the Kraken ended up winning game five and took control of that series. Seattle will look to do that again in game five in Dallas tomorrow night. They had a higher desperation to start the game executed better. Um, they were the more aggressive team and we were on our heels and weren't able to get 
can't get much going offensively. We were a step behind in terms of uh, getting there offensively, forecheck wise, and you know, on the flip side, defensively. Well, as of now, the Kraken are underdogs going into game five, about one and a half goals or so. The puck drops just after 630 tomorrow night in Dallas. The winner of this game will take a 3-2 series lead and become one step closer to reaching the Western Conference Finals. And that'll wrap us up for sports. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. They say there's nothing quite like the open road. I say there's nothing quite like the open road when you're driving a new Toyota from Finley. And right now is the perfect time to trade up to a new RAV4, Toyota Camry, Corolla, or maybe a Tacoma or Tundra truck. Plus, Finley Downtown Toyota has the financing you need to get you behind the wheel today. So you can start your driving adventures tomorrow. Finley Toyota's Downtown. Luxurious Karistan carpets are just the footing you need to live beautifully. And now, during National Karistan Month, you can save beautifully. Use your exclusive rebate to receive up to $1,000 back on select styles of Karistan carpets and the flawless craftsmanship of Luxcraft hard surface flooring. Live beautifully. Save beautifully. With Karistan. At Floor and Home by Carpet One. Northside, just north of the Y on Division, and now in Liberty Lake on Country Vista Drive. We have your keys to fun. Tuila Casino is now Mr. Quack Casino Hotel. New name means new fun. You could win this 2023 Chevrolet Trailblazer or $25,000 cash. Play your favorite games with your Sun Club card to earn entries to win. The more you play, the more you win. Earn bonus entries Saturdays in May. Join us for the prize drawing. Saturday, May 27th, starting at 5 p.m. Tuila Casino is now Mr. Quack Casino Hotel. Save now with Bymart's latest membership savings book, arriving exclusively in members' mailboxes this week. Our 16-page book has storewide savings in every department. Find what you need for spring home projects indoor and out for less. Plus, don't forget mom. From greeting cards to hanging baskets, we've got your Mother's Day covered. Save now with our latest savings book at Bymart, your employee-owned membership store. It's the big spring kickoff event this week at Northwest Fence, where every year we launch the fencing season with super hot buys on all your fencing needs. Like 20% off galvanized chain link fencing or 15% off vinyl, black chain link, or wood fencing. This is your chance to get whatever you need and save a little of the cost by shopping early and beating the summer rush. So stop by the fencing pros at Northwest Fence this week. And remember, nobody builds them better. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Medellin Falls Bigfoot Festival. Coming up tonight on Nightside, if the future of artificial intelligence worries you, you're not alone. Congress is concerned too. And a strange form of harassment targeting a woman in Olympia involving house keys, $500, and the Star of David. We'll have those stories and more tonight on Nightside. On our Doppler radar, we still have a few isolated areas. We've had a couple of lightning strikes just south of Tensed in the state park land there. Also a fizzling out area of thunderstorm activity just south of Cheney. All of this is slowly sinking to the south, not moving very fast, but will be coming to an end here in the next hour. Then we are dry for the overnight and for a beautiful day tomorrow. Blue skies, sunshine, a high temperature of 73 degrees. 66 is our average high and we are only beginning to warm up heading into the 80s by the weekend as high pressure takes over our weather pattern. I never hear complaints about the 70s. Everyone seems to be very pleased. Uh, <laughs> with that day in the 70s. No complaints about it being too hot, not too cold, just right. Mm -hmm. What about the 80s? That's what people, I do, I know. It's <laughs> if anyone, if they're anywhere gonna complain to anyone, it's me. Yeah, that's just <laughs> true. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.